Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm walking you through my apartment friendly renovations and do-it-yourself furniture projects. This past June, I was blessed to be passed on this small Brooklyn one bedroom apartment that needed some serious TLC. If you want to see how I was able to transform my apartment from industrial to luxury, then stay tuned. So first, we're starting off with the walls using this really pretty pearly white color, which I'm going to leave in the description for you all. I figured using a lighter color for the walls would create better lighting and it would make my living room look bigger and more airy. We also went in with this charcoal gray accent for all of the doors and the closets to give it a luxury feel. We kind of just moved everything into the living room so that we can paint around everything. We're finished up with the walls. As you guys can see, they're like this pearl white. And the ceiling, we kind of just left the same color for now because we're still contemplating what's going to happen with that. And we accented the doors. So it's giving this charcoal gray color. Those are the closet doors that actually go into the living room. And after we finish the kitchen, we are going to start on some of the floors. To transform the style of my living room from industrial to luxury, I decided to go over my hardwood floors with this ash gray vinyl peel and stick flooring that I got from Home Depot, which I will leave the link for you guys in the description. I give this floor a 10 out of 10. It was affordable and durable. And it's still in great shape even four months later as I'm editing this video. You want to tell the people what you're doing? Yeah, I'm just picking a center point to start from and moving around, making some special cuts around the trim. A little straight line coming down to the door. Obviously, this cut has been made. You can work to the wall. Okay. So you just measured out the floor so far. You didn't lay anything out yet. No, it's about to be the first piece. Alright, this is about to be the first piece laid down. Should be. I'm not gonna lie, I did a lousy job filming the flooring process, and luckily for me, my boyfriend owns a flooring business, so I'll just leave a link to my favorite do it yourself peel and stick video below. Throughout this process, it's recommended that you use a tool called a roller, which I didn't have. So what you see me doing now is I'm just taking some blue painter's tape and I'm taping together each of the floor planks and I left them on for about three weeks to ensure that my planks were flat and it prevents lifting. The best part about peel and stick flooring, which is why I chose it, is that I can just lift it all up when it's time for me to return my apartment back to my landlord and that's why I love it. This do-it-yourself mirror. I'm really just spray painting the mirror that was in my entry area. And so we're just spraying it black because a lot of the accents in my apartment are going to be black. I'm going to let you guys in on a little tip and trick that I use for my apartment makeover. I actually saved a lot of money because I didn't buy any new furniture or decor. I actually just bargained for secondhand pieces or I simply refinished the pieces that were already left in my apartment for free by using plain it. black spray paint like I'm doing here. Why buy new furniture for an apartment when you can save hundreds of money just by doing fun art projects and really making the space your own? Like with this piece of furniture here, this was actually a shelving unit that was used over a bed in my bedroom. And I felt like it just overcrowded the bedroom and would be more appropriate as a TV console. We are taking that console that we just sprayed and hammering in these shelves.
This is how the console is looking after I spray painted and put like my hookah stuff underneath there and my little owl and my humidifier. Over here, this is like the entryway to my house and as you guys can see, I hung up that mirror. I'm actually about to try to put up these glass pieces on the wall somewhere. So I'm about to show you guys how I put this thing on the wall. I don't really know how I'm gonna do it right now. Um, I think I'm just gonna like draw a line down the middle of this wall and then kind of just like do the center pieces going all the way through and then just like coming evenly with some more pieces as I go. One unfortunate thing about living in Brooklyn or living in New York at all is that everything is so expensive but so small. So I decided to enlarge my living room by putting up this glass mural and all this does is give the illusion that my living room is twice as big as it actually is. I'm about to build this bar that I just picked up from Offer Up. If you guys don't know what Offer Up is, it is this site that people pretty much sell all their furniture, their used furniture for super cheap prices. So I got this bar that I'm about to put together and it's going to go right over there in that little nook. And I'm also going to put together this coffee table. put this maybe there and then put like a bar sign on it I think that will really make this corner really pop with the bar and I don't know if I should angle it like that. oh and then I have to paint the ceiling so I'm also gonna paint the ceilings and I really want to paint around these door frames that's pretty much gonna be the end of the living room update forget to like comment and subscribe i really hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one